Hey, a pleasure and good day, everyone. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be an overall reaction to the third week, count them three, third week of the NFL. Obviously, I'm going to get this one right out of the way. If you want to go watch my reaction to the Eagles game, my Eagles that sucked and got destroyed on Monday Night Football, then that is the video that is going to be right after this one in my channel. So go check that out if you're an Eagles fan. But if you're not, let's go over some key games this week. One of them, only because of their quarterback's play and how much better he's playing there than he did in the New York Football Jets nation, is Sam Darnold because he didn't even get a passing touchdown. He couldn't generate that, but still had a great passing yard his game. No knock on him for not getting a passing touchdown because guess what? He just created the offense. He managed that game really well, and he still threw for 304 yards, and then he ran for two touchdowns, choosing in the red zone when to run correctly, then rather pass and try to force it, and he got two rushing touchdowns. Excuse me. Plus, in that game, I have to also point out Chubba Hubbard, who had 52 yards, a Canadian native, having a good first game. Not his first overall game, but his first good overall game in the NFL, so good for him. So that is one game to highlight from this weekend. Another would be, do they still have to find some form of identity of their team, fully what they are without Drew Brees and what they are without some veterans um, that have been injured early in the season? Sure, the Saints do, but they bounce back against the New England Patriots. Winston was able to be a game manager that it seems like he developed to behind Drew Brees and not as much of the gunslinger going 13 of 21 with two touchdowns. And then Kamara had a very good game, having 89 rushing yards, and then Hill had that good play to seal it, uh, where he jumped over somebody late in the game. So that was a good overall game for them. I would like to say Jameis Winston has definitely been a very good performer through three weeks, minus the second week, but you're going to have an off week. He went behind Drew Brees, it seemed like now he's learning how to just kind of take what's given to him, which is key, rather than just shooting it down the field and hoping for the best. Now... Our next game that I wanted to point out that we have to point out is Joe Burrow throwing three TDs, 172 yards um, against the Steelers and routing them. The Steelers lost to the Bengals 24-10. to and uh, Burrow had a very good game. Joe Nixon had a great game having 90 yards. Jamar Chase had a great game having 65 yards himself. So that was a three-headed monster, that game. A Burrow, Chase, and Mixon. So that is what was able to get it done. And that was an upset, I think, early on. Big Ben was not able to do anything. He was basically just falling over out there and was just succumbing to the pressure of the Cincinnati Bengals. Now, a game that I think... Obviously, you wanted to see if you were Titans fans to take advantage of. They were able to take advantage of the Colts. The Colts now move 2-0-3. I don't think there's a heck of a lot to take out of this. If you're a Titans fan particularly, other than the fact that you want to see Ryan Tannehill, this one I'm more highlighting because of the negative, you want to see Ryan Tannehill look a little bit better, especially against a Colts team that was struggle bunnying early on. He threw three touchdowns to two picks. You're going to want to see him look better. He did have 56 rushing yards, though, so he did figure out a way to manage around not having as good of a game himself. And then Henry, Derrick Henry, the beast, the bus himself, the current bus of the NFL, had 113 yards. Now, as we come to our final couple games to highlight, we obviously ain't going to highlight a game. The The, the Jets stunk and got blown out 26 to nothing, and then 26 to 6 uh, Justin Fields, you're going to want to see a lot better from going forward. And you're going to want to see a lot better from Matt Nagy. They had, I believe it was one passing yard after um, having all the lost rushing yards and all what have you in that game. So that game was a damn disgrace for the Bears. But when it comes to the positive, it comes to a guy that I would say is leading the MVP right now to close out this video would be Kyler Murray. Um, as the, actually, no, we're going to make hit that the last thing. I'm going to go with the second to last thing. I forgot to highlight one person because their team was able to beat the Kansas City Chiefs. So I have to highlight Justin Herbert, too. He threw four touchdowns against Patrick Mahomes. He outplayed Patrick Mahomes, actually threw three touchdowns and two picks, had a similar stat line to Ryan Tannehill on the week. And then you had Justin Herbert throw four touchdowns, just ball out. Austin Eckler did uh, good enough there. But then the big thing on this game was, 
you had Herbert and Mike Williams hook up like two peas in a pod. Williams at 122 damn yards, 122. So, yeah, that's a great game for Justin Herbert, a great game for Mike Williams. They got it done. That's the second to last thing. Now we're moving into the last thing, going to talk about the current MVP of the NFL. Who had 316 yards in this game. Um, he also had 19 yards rushing and one rushing TD. And then James Conner had his first solid game with two TDs for the Arizona Cardinals. And that is Kyler Murray. And then he also got A.J. Green involved. A.J. Green had a flashback game of 112 yards. And then Christian Kirk had a great day himself. He had two receivers over 100 yards with 112 and 104. So great job by Kyler Murray. Great job by Kirk. Great job by James Conner. And great job by A.J. Green. That highlights our week three. Those are the NFL highlights from week three brought to you by Sports Fanatic News. As I highlighted my top key moments and key players that performed well and also obviously talked about some that need to perform better as week goes on. I as weeks go on, excuse me. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe either with the widget up here or down below, whatever you prefer. We really appreciate your support. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everyone. Stay safe out there. The football season's been great this far. Let's keep it going. Peace out, everybody. And of course, it's always great to see the fans back in the stadium. Peace.